you know, it's a combination of writing and video, which is kind of my thing. Manon says, best advice you give when coaching high school students is, I'm assuming you're meeting cricket here. Um, <laughs> as someone who dropped out of high school, uh, if you're asking for actual school advice, I may not be the best one. But if, if you're talking about uh, studies, um, the best thing I would say is that essentially school is just something to be hacked. All, all of life. Everything that you try and get into, every system that you try and get into, every system that you're inside of already um, is just something to be hacked. There is always a hack, a cheat, a way of doing it that makes uh, things go better. So if you're talking about from a student perspective, that's kind of how I run my life. Um, and that's certainly what I wish someone would have told me when I was 15. Uh, if you're talking about high school students playing cricket, I think that I, I think the most important thing when you're you know learning cricket around that uh, 15 or 16 age is that you get the as much advice as possible that you also understand the biomechanics of what makes you successful as a player whether that be batting or bowling or whatever that may be and then you match it up with the advice that you're given by other people so what i mean by this is especially now a coach says to you your front arm is too low right and you're like well i get wickets so i don't need that right go and film your front arm and then have a look at it and then have a look at that compared to other players and go, well, is there other, are there other players who bowl similarly to me, whatever that may be, who also have a front arm that's quite low? Is it, you know, am I ever going to be able to get to that sort of level? That's the way that I think people should be thinking about cricket. And I think that will allow us to have a lot more unique kind of players coming through rather than everyone playing exactly the same um, as each other. And I think that chances are you are not in the 10 most uh, best players in your country. But that doesn't mean that if you're very clever and you continue to learn and film yourself and study other players and see what they do well and, and work out what you do well, you know, and add to that uh, um, and change that and mix that up and understand it. I, I think for me, and, and I talk about this more as a writer than as a cricketer, once you understand what it is that you do well, you can expand on it and twist it and fuck around with it, basically, without it falling apart. If you don't understand what you do well, you're only ever going to do that well. And there is always a danger, of course, that one day it won't work. So, uh, yeah, I hope that helps. That, and as I said, that's not just about cricket. I kind of think that's about everything. 